Roses never bloom So I was thinking that we could update the channel like every Friday on prep and fitness stuff. Like fitness Fridays. Do we have a schedule? <laughs> I upload, uh, we, we upload, we upload every upload. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So much better. So I'm tired of holding that thing. The videos are pretty random, but I was thinking of doing every Friday fitness Friday and then Monday, Wednesday is going to be kind of a grab bag of sorts, uh, RV stuff and grab bag. For injury now. updates, things like that. And here in less than a month, hopefully we'll have some more uh, travels. Travel, travel yeah. updates? You yeah. got hair on your neck? I have, I have hair everywhere now. I just, I trimmed, <laughs> trimmed my beard. Looks good. I mean, I guess we could try it this week and then see what people think, but yeah. really, I'm, I mean, I'm going to keep putting prep updates in there. So far, so good. I'm doing good too. Uh, we're about to go to the rock gym and I'm gonna do some climbing. My weight's already down a few pounds from the start, which is, of course, um, that's pretty expected once you lower your calories or you increase your activity level. You're gonna lose some water weight. That's why a lot of people, whenever they go on a diet, they see a lot of weight loss in the first couple weeks. A lot of it is water weight. Anyway, we'll see how the next week goes. Yeah? Yeah. Right now I'm okay. making some food to take with us. Before I go to the rock gym because I'm hungry and I don't want to be hungry while I climb. What time is it? We should, we should have been gone by now. Like 12 15 or 12 30. Alright, well, we're we'll late for that too. Let's go! Well, good morning, guys. I thought I would sit and give you guys um, some of my thoughts in the car, like old times. If you remember uh, back when this was a my fitness channel, um, I used to do a lot of car chats. And really, some of my most clear thinking, honestly, I think is right after my workout. I just kind of relieve some of my stress. Anxiety usually gets a lot better whenever I'm working out. 
so after the gym I always feel good and I, I kind of have some thoughts and goals a little bit more clear in my mind. So I thought that I could do some overlay, overlay footage of my workouts from this first week of my prep while I give you guys some insight into what this prep and what this prep series is gonna look like. So if you're not familiar with the realm of bodybuilding, I know it's very different. <laughs> seeing people super tan up on the stage minimal clothing like what the heck it seems super weird so bodybuilding itself is just a way to I guess you could say master the craft of building your body that's exactly what it is you know it's amazing what our bodies are capable of and a lot of people have the passion of pushing themselves in the gym for whatever reason and seeing your body change over time as a result of your hard work in the gym as well as in your nutrition, it's awesome. It's amazing. And some people decide to take that a step further and actually compete. And, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So a bodybuilding prep in itself is just a diet. Um, basically what I will be doing for the next 15 weeks is staying very consistent with my nutrition, with my macronutrients, that's my protein, my carbs, and my fats. And I will stay, for the most part, in a caloric deficit through my nutritional intake as well as my expenditure in my workouts and in cardio. So by staying in a caloric deficit, I'm going to continually, that's the goal, lose body fat until I'm stage ready. Um, hopefully a couple weeks out, not the week of the show. Um, so it's it's a more rigid, more extreme form of, of dieting, really, is what it is. It's not normal. It's not something that everybody should do. I, I have many videos talking about um, the dangers of bodybuilding, um, the, the mental aspects of it, and it's something that I've been through myself, but I'm confident in saying that this prep, I'm starting out mentally in the healthiest space that I have ever ever been in and that's why I'm so excited about this because I'm confident that as I go throughout the prep as I get leaner and then post show I'm I'm sure I'll have some struggles here and there we all do um, but I think that my mentality is going to be the best that it has ever been uh, because of the years of of building up my my confidence to be honest and, and building up who I know that I am inside and how my outside is a mere reflection of it, but it's not the whole thing. So, you know, however lean I get or I don't get, it's not a reflection on my character. Um, it doesn't change who I am as a person. It doesn't change my passions. It doesn't change who I love or what I love in this life. Um, it's just, it, it is a passion of mine, bodybuilding and, and weightlifting and training and seeing your body change, but it's not everything. So, um, at this time though, it does become a little more important for me to stay on top of my workouts, stay on top of my nutrition, um, and just really grind it out. You know, there's not a lot of time for, for slip-ups. What I'm going to be doing for the next three months is slowly lowering my caloric intake and slowly increasing my caloric expenditure to keep me in a deficit because as you continue to diet, whether you're bodybuilding or not, your metabolism slows down in response because our body sees dieting as a form of slow starvation. That's all it really is. And so our body is going to fight back against this period of starvation. Um, you know, I might be feeling good, I might be getting leaner, but my body is, is going to see it as a threat. So your metabolism will slow, that's when you hit a plateau, and that's when something needs to change. That's whenever you either need to lower your caloric intake or increase your caloric expenditure, aka cardio, or lift more weights. <laughs> but of course, there's only so much that you can do in the gym, and there's only so few calories that you can take in without going to an extremely unhealthy level. Um, your body's hormones can get screwed up, uh, lack of sleep, vitamin deficiencies. Good Lord, there are so many health consequences of chronic and extreme dieting. So that's why you can only do something like this for a very short period of time. So it's not something that I continue to stay in a massive deficit after my show. I think my last show I stayed in a deficit for too long. I stayed too lean for too long and that's why I had issues with my period. So right now I'm lifting five days a week. I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rest Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday. Lifting five days a week and I'm also doing five days of cardio. We're starting out a bit more aggressive because I do have quite a ways to go. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I definitely know that I'm feeling and seeing changes within this first week. So my body is responding. I think it's responding well. Um, I've got my first check-in on Thursday. Of course, you guys are going to be seeing this on Friday. So I've already had my first check-in. We'll see what adjustments need to be made. But of course... The beginning of any diet, of any prep, is very exciting because you're excited about new goals, you're excited about the fast progress. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be about eight weeks and things are going to start to get pretty tough. Um, so that's probably whenever you'll start to hear more honest updates from me about lower energy, um, maybe possibly my mentality changing a bit, um, just a bit more struggles are going to start to come in, I think, about the halfway mark. And then the last few weeks are when you really do have to push through. Um, I do know that my calories had to get pretty low for my last prep. But, of course, I'm starting out, and I started out my last prep at a very, very good intake. So I started out this prep, I'm, I'm dieting it, I think, over an average of 2,000 calories a day. Um, years and years ago, I was struggling to maintain my weight at 1,800 calories, and I was consistently gaining weight. So it just shows you that when you do take time to diet, when you are dieting and you put yourself on a lowered caloric intake, um, for a lot of women, that seems to be like 12 to 1,500, which is mind-blowing to me. Um, you have to take time to build your metabolism back up. Because, like I said, as you continue to diet, your metabolism adapts and it lowers. So you might start out your diet at 1,800 calories, you hit a plateau around 1,500, then you've got to lower it again, you hit another plateau, you've got to go down to 1,200 calories. Well, if you go back to eating two, 3,000 calories a day, your metabolism's still down here. It's not going to be able to catch up, so you're going to gain all of that fat back, usually, and then some. And that's how people usually get on that yo-yo diet train. So... After my show, I'm going to have to reverse diet and add calories back in, although I think I'm going to be a bit more aggressive with this next reverse diet than I was with the last one. But of course, only time will tell. I hope you guys are enjoying these prep updates. If you do, please hit that thumbs up. It does let me know to keep doing them. I know that this is different for the channel, but again, this is part of my career, part of my life, and it's something that goes along with our RV lifestyle. Um, anytime we travel, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes and how I can tie it together. But hopefully I can show you guys that, you know, pushing towards your physical goals or your fitness goals doesn't have to be sacrificed for traveling or if, if situations aren't optimal or if you don't have access to a gym. So we'll see.